Right guys, what is good? Welcome back to another FM24 rebuild. This time we're heading over to Liverpool. But it's going to be something a little bit different this time around. So we will be doing Liverpool, but we're going to be using the Your World function in FM24, new to the game this year. Of course, this function allows you to have the team before the transfer window happening in the summer. So the likes of Shalaj Boy, McAllister, they never arrived at Liverpool within this database. And we'll be doing the midfield rebuild ourselves here in FM24. So as we see the game now, of course, we start off now. We're two days away from the Premier League season about the start. And we've ordered the transfers for this first season and bought in some incredible talent. But the big one was going to be, we have sold Mo Salah over to Saudi. Arabia. He went for some mega, mega bucks. A grand total of 210 million. So we cashed in and got Salah out the door so we can really start this rebuild here in FM24 with Liverpool. And Salah was the first of many to leave in that window. You see now Cody Gakpo, he left for 44 million to Newcastle. Also joining him was Joel Matty for 18 million. Henderson, he didn't go to Saudi Arabia, of course, in this universe. He went to PSG for 14 million. And a few smaller ones, a few low moves. They were the only small ones really here, but the big ones went there. And we made 288 million to go onto our already massive transfer budget we had at the club. But we did think, let's keep some realism to it. So we did actually bring in McAllister and Slodge Boy, but we did a few changes along the way, including 86 million. Victor Seaman making the switch over from Napoli, joining Liverpool to come play as our new number nine this season. Sorry, Darwin, but... Victor had your number and he is taking it straight away. We spent 17 million on Bubakari Samir from Leicester. He's a very good, useful midfielder. Again, I thought something played a little bit deeper as well. Liverpool kind of lacking that deeper player right now. I thought he can come in straight away and fit in that role and be a good rotational player this season. He joined us in, like I said, for about 17 million, up to 23 million potentially rising. We then went for Morton Hillman from Lecce for 10 million, potentially rising up to 12.5. A bit of a different centre midfielder to bring into the team as well. Good rotational player, but a light straight away. Good marking, good tackling. That defensive option for that midfield, that CDM type player, because of course, the players Liverpool put in real life are far too attacking to play those types of roles. Uh, Rafinha was an interesting one as well. We'll get to him in a moment. Madge Rosler came in for right back, 31 million. You're probably thinking, a right back? You got Trent, what do you need him for? Ah, well. Trent plays midfield now in this tactic. He plays midfield instead, which you'll see in just a short moment. But Mad Rodley can come in now as I knew it's starting right back into this team. And he fits lovely. Yeah, Rafinha, 25 million. He comes in now, of course. We've got rid of Gakpo and Salah. We need some more wingers. Rafinha for 25 million for an absolute bargain coming in now, for I thought, anyway, over from Barcelona. Of course, formerly at Leeds, went to Barcelona. He's now back in the Premier League playing for Liverpool in this team. And if you thought it silly enough, it got even sillier. Uh, we bought in Augustine Gay, first for Sander Renzo of 10 million. Another rotational right back option a good bit of a youngster as well see how he develops in the game and then we started spending the money really really silly uh malinkovic savage of course went to saudi arabia in real life he now plays at liverpool he can play cn can play can can play a little bit deeper as well if we really need him to but for this team you're playing in that camp position joined them by aranjo balde from barcelona at 75 million i won't lie andy robertson you passed your best. You passed your best. We need to replace you. So Balde comes in like long-term replacement for this rebuild. And he will absolutely smash it. I am sure. So he comes in now at left back. And the last one then, 74 million, potentially rising up to 107 million for Giorgio Scalvini, one of the best centre backs, watch Wonder Kid centre backs in FM24. He comes in now to secure up that defensive slot alongside Virgil van Dijk. But of course, one of the players that are not left, of course, for Saudi Arabia was Fabinho as well. So we do have him as a DM option as well. There's quite a lot of players that still like in this team right now. I mean the team is vast full of experience to go by the ability straight away we can see now Alisson, Van Dijk, Seaman, Diaz, Milinkovic, Savic, Nunez, Balde, Thiago the list goes on there's a lot of talent in this team and this is how we're going to be lining up potentially this is going to be the main 11 for the start in 11 of this season anyway but yeah tactically we're using the Murphy Ultimate NK7 4231 released about two weeks ago now it's been doing absolute bits in FM for everyone who's been using it. I've had loads of feedback saying how good it was working. And we thought, let's use it with Liverpool and try and win Liverpool. So Premier League trophies, some Champions League trophies, and just basically rebuild that midfield and re Juvenile Liverpool and make them into a brand new side. I mean, right now, they look like a brand new side. Rafinha, Milinkovic, Savic, the Seaman, Trent Alexander-Arnold as a Regista. This is a bit of an interesting one. I thought looking at him as well, attribute-wise, he can do really well. Get the passing range, the vision, the first touch. He's got that about him. So I feel like him playing that midfield role could really secure all that midfield. Mad, of course, now coming into that right inverted wing back role in this formation as well. But playing Shalaz by Zavalante as well. Don't know how it's going to work. We're going to try it on the first season, see if we can get him to learn the role and see how he develops into that role. But Shalaz by playing now as that Volante. But even then, the likes of players that are on the bench, McAllister, Fabinho, to name a few, Joe Gomez as well, Harvey Elliott, Scalvini, Sumar, Jota, Anderson. There's, like, there's so many players. There's so many good players on this team. It looks solid. 
So let's see what happens though at the end of season number one. So season number one was silly, to say the least. We won a quadruple in the first season with Liverpool, winning firstly the Carabao Cup, just touching the Carabao Cup first. So it wasn't important. We beat Arsenal 3-0 in that final. Fabinho getting a brace, Shalaz Boy getting a goal as well. Not a bad way to start. Uh, quadruple winning season, winning the quadruple against, uh, well, playing the quadruple, winning the EFL, the Carabao Cup against Arsenal. And we mentioned Shalaz Boy, of course, in this formation, playing in that Volante role. You can see the run from deep out. He's in the box, ready to tap home that goal there. The first of many in that game, of course. Fabinho getting two breaks, again, a brace later on that game as well. A great start to winning all four trophies this season. And again, not a bad showing from the boys at all. We then went on to an FA Cup final where we beat Everton 4-1 in the FA Cup. Trent this time, both Matt wide, finds a seaman, heads it home, 1-0 Liverpool from there. It just kept going from there. We we're absolutely rampant in front of goal. Diaz found Balde, back to Diaz. Nice little one-two play and a seaman slots at home there. Seaman just is absolutely insane this season. SMS is on, giving away the ball away. Sadly from SMS, not the best from him, but Calvert-Lewin did bag one back, but it was not going to be enough for Everton. It did go to VAR, but it was not enough. Set pieces as well. We like throwing set pieces. And you can see from this move again, Diaz his time, getting the ball, runs wired into that midfield, into that box and slots it home. And then Seaman then gets the hat trick from the spot. Beautiful finish. Great FA Cup. Another trophy in the bag, which then led us to our next final, of course, which would have been this one here. We went to RB Leipzig, taking on Leipzig in the Europa League final. And it's a lovely 3-1 victory for Liverpool in this one. If you start now, we start on this right-hand side here. Rafinha cuts inside that striker there. Finds McAllister making the run, of course, playing camp for this game. He gets the early goal there to make it 1-0 after just one minute as well. Andy Robertson getting a rare start, of course, in this game. Finds Curtis Jones as well. Bit of a rotational squad as Darwin Nunez slots home. It shows it all. We've to rotate in the Europa League final because we're resting players for the Premier League to focus on that. This time, Jones edges the box. Finds Joe Gomez of all players. Quite far upfield. He playing that row-back ball in that inverted wing-back role. Gets a goal from that one. Lobsy did get one back later on the 82nd minute here. It was a bit poor from the lads. A poor clearance. Well capitalised by Cavalio, of course. Cavalio actually on loan from us this season. Fabio Cavalio, a Liverpool player, scoring that final pass to us, but it wasn't enough as Liverpool win 3-1 away in Dublin in the Europa League final, which then led, of course, to the Premier League. But you see on screen now, we narrowly, narrowly won the Premier League. In 30 games, winning 28, drawing six, losing four all season, scoring 113 goals. An absolute monster, 113 goals. 90 points, level with Man City, but a goal difference is enough to get us out of the line and see Liverpool get quadruple in season number one. And for anyone that's wondering... Haaland still won the Golden Boot. We couldn't beat Haaland for the Golden Boot. That has not been done yet. Hopefully, in these few seasons, we can do that at some point. But Seaman, 23. Haaland, 29. He's still a long way away. There's still six goals off. So hopefully, at some point, we can get the better of Owen Haaland. But we saw what we've done there already. We've already won four trophies in our first season. Let's see what happens now. Going to the start of season number two. What transfer business can we get up to this time? So we're going to start off by going now to the end of season one before it went to July 1st and switched over to the new year because we started things off really, really silly. Uh, Carrot Australia came from Napoli. He wanted to join Victor Zeman. He came in for an absolutely monstrous move. 90 million. He left Napoli to come over to Liverpool and he links up with Zeman once again here at Liverpool. And the other one then joined him was Manu Kone from Borussia Mönchengladbach coming in for 35 million. Another good midfielder to join. It's already really, really good Liverpool midfield going into season number two. We then then ticked over, of course, into the new season. And thing, it just got, it just got really, really silly. We'll go to sales first. What happened in terms of sales? Virgil van Dijk, firstly, made the switch over to Saudi Arabia. He left the club at age 33 now. He went for 80 million to Saudi Arabia to Al had So, you know what? We had to cash in. He's a bit older now. Let's cash in and make some money. And we did that yet again this time with Fabinho for 73 million also going over to Saudi Arabia. So 1.1 million pounds a week as an absolute joke. A few more than Samir after one season, didn't really play him at the Saudi Arabia for 12 million. Tomiskus went to Ralph Sosta for 7.5 million. Connor Bradley went over there for 6.25 million. And then a few other ones happened along the way, which we'll get into now. So Rafinha's now at Real Madrid. And you're probably thinking he was only there for a season. He had a pretty good season. Why did he end up going to Real Madrid? We swapped him and bought some. We'll get into that in just a moment. And there was another one as well, which you'll see now. Joe Gomez also went over to Real Madrid in a big, big transfer. And that's because Jude Bellingham made the switch over to Liverpool within this save. He's on 425 grand a week and he's an absolute monster in FM this year. We spent 240 million 
and exchange two players for the transfer to bring Jude Bellingham over to Liverpool. And Jude Bellingham would be the start of what would happen to be a really, really good window. Firstly, Kefren Tran came from Nice for 58 million. Him, Kone, Jude Bellingham, SMX, this midfield is absolutely insane by this point. Absolutely insane. Uh, Gavardiol, of course, in this game, he would never have joined Man City. So he was available as well. 70 million, rising to 105 million. A big, big transfer. Gavardiol doesn't go to Man City in this universe. He comes over to Liverpool within this rebuild. And of course, we mentioned the likes of Gomez and Rafinha leaving in that park exchange for the big signing Jude Bellingham, which now means the team looks absolutely ridiculous. So going into season number two, this is how we're going to line up. with Seaman as a striker, Karic Grilly on the left-hand side, Jota on the right-hand side, Shalaz by going through that middle in the camera roll. Now he's been moved from that Volante role because Jude Bellingham will now be our Volante in this formation. Trent in the Regista, Balde, Gavardio, Scalvini and Mads Roslev is our back line. Alisson remains in goal for now. But I mean, look at the bench here. Canate, McAllister, Nunez, Robertson, SMS, Diaz, Kefren Turan, Manu Kone. Even the likes of Hulman who we brought in last summer as well. He's not part of the team right now. Curtis Jones. There's such good depth in this Liverpool team. We won a quadruple last season. The only thing different this year is that we're in the Champions League. Can we win the Champions League in our first time of asking in this simulation? We do have another trophy to go for this season, of course, as well, which will be the Community Shield. So there's a potential to win a few more trophies this season. You see on the screen right now. We have the UEFA Super Cup to look forward to against Man City as well. The FA Cup, the Super Cup, Champions League, Community Shield, Carabao Cup. The European South American Club Challenge, which we've won that already, which was just a pre-season type thing. So we'll take it, we'll take it. And of course, the Premier League trophy. Let's find out what happens in season number two here at Liverpool. So having spent all those millions, maybe even a billion by this point at Liverpool in just two seasons, how have we gotten on? So we can see here now from the competitions tab, we'll start on the right-hand side. The FA Cup, we got knocked out by Chelsea. We didn't do very well in the FA Cup being knocked out. Chelsea actually went on to win the whole thing in the end. But we didn't do very well in the FA Cup. You see in the fifth round, we got knocked out on penalties to Chelsea. So the FA Cup, we couldn't retain that one. Chelsea go ahead and win that one. The Super Cup, we lost as well to Man City. It went all the way to extra time. Conceding three goals next time. Zanio getting a brace. Laporte getting one. It didn't start too well. But redemption came because we did beat Chelsea in the Champions League final. But yes, redemption was made as Liverpool beat Chelsea in the Champions League final. It was a really dull affair. Really. Nothing really happened apart from the one goal from Victor Asim. And Gavardio has it from the back here. Finds Jude Bellingham into that midfield. Goes out wide now to Kovic Grelia. Ball through. Victor Asim through on goal. Lobs it over Kepa. And that was enough to see Liverpool win the Champions League in our first attempt to try and get back in the Champions League competition. And I thought the start, not bad at all. Of course, I didn't know Kev got injured later on that game as well. So goalkeeper injuries, still a thing. But of course, the first competition of the season was the Community Shield where we had a 1-1 draw against Man City before losing out on penalties. Schlossberg by getting the one goal, Rodri getting one back, but it wasn't enough. We lost out on penalties in that one. And things get going on from there. After that one, we started to win a lot, a lot more. The Carabao Cup, of course, came on late around the corner. Beating Manchester United 3-0 in this one. Darwin Nunez, Luis Diaz and Jude Bellingham getting the goals to see Liverpool lift the EFL trophy. But finally, the Premier League season came to an end and Liverpool finished top yet again. Only losing one game all season. We came so close to an unbeaten season. Losing 2-1 to Manchester United. So, so close. In 38 games, winning 28 of them, drawing 9, losing 1 all season. Scoring 100 goals in this tactic as well. Another 100 goal season for Liverpool. Seeing 25 goals, 93 points. We were miles ahead of Arsenal in second. Man City in third. And Man United who came fifth with only team that built the season. But again, the down in fifth was enough to see Liverpool lift back-to-back -back Premier League trophies. So it's season number two coming to an end. We've won nearly for every competition we've been involved in now. But I do want to keep going this three build until we can win every competition during one season. Of course, we know these rebuilds for five seasons. We'll see how long it takes us. But the plan is now, let's try and win every club competition we can do in one season with Liverpool. Let's find out how it goes going to the start of season number three. We'll start things off, of course, with SMS. He left for 54 million over to Saudi Arabia. He went in there eventually. It was going to happen inevitably, of course. 30 years of age. He still looks really, really good. But we thought, let's cash in now before he gets too old. The next one, then, of course, then Curtis Jones leaving for Tottenham Hotspur for 60 million, potentially riding 74 million. A really good player in Curtis Jones, 24 years of age. Still looks a really good player to use this year. But you've seen our team. He just can't break into that team right now. I mean, other outgoings, loan out Tyler Moore for the season, Luke Chambers for the season, Harvey Blair leaving a free transfer. And then it got it got really, really silly yet again. We'll start off with the Spurs transfers first of Alfie Dorrington. The centre-back comes in for an absolute monster fee here to Liverpool. 35 million. 
He came in, of course, on loan last season at Millwall. Didn't really play, and we've spent 35 million because another English player to bring through. I do feel like he could be our starter going forth for the next few seasons. Good jump, rich, good heading, good passing, good marking, tackling. He could really develop to be a real good centre back in FM24, I do feel this year. So we spent massive to bring Alfie Dorrington in uh, back up this season, hopefully, be a first team player going forward. Uh, Dennis Seaman, goalkeeper wise. We mentioned before Alisson is still around the team. Here is his replacement, Dennis Seaman, coming in now for a pretty a chunky fee as well. Again, you can see a 43 million from Stuttgart. We'll see how he gets in this season. Hopefully, he can be our new number one going into this season or maybe down the line in the future. And this is the... You, you don't, it, it's Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland now plays for Liverpool. we got to see him. Why do we need Erling Haaland? 390 million. When you win all the competitions, you get a lot of money, it seems, in FM. You get silly amounts of money. So we have 390 million on bringing Erlen Haaland through here into Liverpool. He leaves Man City and joins Liverpool as our new number. Well, hey, number, number 17. Technically, he's going to be our new number nine, maybe. Near Seaman. We'll, we'll get into that in just a moment. So that brings us now to season number three. We've Haaland Lee in the line now. This formation, Kavich Grelia, Slodge Boy, Jota. We've gone for Bellingham and Tram as our midfield pairing now. A bit of a change now. Trent going back to that robot position. We have felt mad hasn't really. He's done okay. He's been good, don't get me wrong, but Trent's still a much, much better right back. So he's going to go back there this season. Scalvini, Gavardio, Balde, and Allison will start in the goal for now, but Seaman comes in now on the bench. We've got Seaman, Diaz, Canate, Robertson, McAllister, Darwin, Nunez, Mads. The bench is absolutely stacked. Even like the likes of Dorrington and Kone coming on the bench. We'll play bottom on there, actually, to be fair. Why not? The team is stacked. We go now into season number three. Can we win the lot? Competition wise, we have this the Premier League, the Champions League, the UEFA Super Cup, yet again to try and retain this time. Well, try and retain. Try and actually win it this time around. The FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and the Community Shield. How many of these six trophies can we win going into season number three? So, season number three, and we, we won everything. In three years, we've managed to win six trophies in one season here. It's absolutely ridiculous. We'll start first with the Community Shield, of course, the first competition of the year. We managed to win the Community Shield, beating Chelsea 4 3 in that final. Kovac Grelia had an absolute world of the game, getting a brace for him, Jota getting one, Kefren Tram getting a goal in the first minute of the game. Saw us get past Chelsea and win our first bit of silverware of the season. We thought, oh, that's going pretty well. Let's carry on now with the other comp competitions, of course. The next up was the UEFA Super Cup. We took on Atalanta in a game here and we beat them 2-1. Of course, Rasmus Hoyland still at Atalanta. Didn't move to Man United in this universe. But Josh and Harlan got the goals for us. The Seals get past Atalanta. Two trophies at the start of the season. What a start. What a start. And then it goes from there. The Carabao Cup up next. We beat Arsenal 2-1 in the Carabao Cup final. Harlan and Diaz getting the goals. An early goal for Martinelli. Harlan got on back in the 16th minute. It was quite quiet for a long, long time. And Luis Diaz popped up in the 89th minute. The Seals win that one. Three trophies done. All was left then with the Champions League, the FA Cup and the Premier League all to do in one season. We'll start with the FA Cup, of course, beating Tottenham Hotspur 3-1 in that final. Goals from Bellingham, Kavish Grelia and Luis Diaz in the 90th minute. I said 90 10th. 90 plus 10 minutes. 100th minute, 100th minute in the FA Cup final was enough to see us get past Tottenham Hotspur and see us lift our fourth trophy of the season, which led them to two finales to come. First off, Liverpool versus Barcelona in the Champions League final. Andy Robertson got an early goal, Fatty got one back, but McAllister Brace was enough to see Liverpool lift the Champions League trophy again back to back seasons. So that led to five trophies in just one season, and it all ended up with the Premier League being the final one, the final one we needed. And to be fair, I have to complain, it wasn't a good last season. We lost five games this season. In 38 games, winning 28, drawing five, losing five, 105 goals, conceding 29 goals. Arsenal get second place. Man City, by the way, seventh place. They really, really miss Erling Haaland, it seems. Leicester above them, Brentford almost above them as well. It's absolutely mental this season, the way it ended. Being seen now that Liverpool finish off as Premier League champions and within just three seasons, we've managed to make a team good enough to win six trophies in one season. So in just three years, we've done all that for Liverpool. I hope you enjoyed this rebuild. It's been a bit different using the Your World universe where transfers have not happened. You have that money to spend. You can do different transfers and see different players. The likes of Gavardio making the switch, of course, to Liverpool over Man City and so much more. So try it out. Let me know in the comment section what you've done for your Your World save this year in FM24. If you have enjoyed this video, of course, please make sure you're subscribing to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. We'll be back very, very soon with loads more rebuilds here on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again very, very soon.